With Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's DLC coming to a conclusion with the addition of Sora, many fans including myself are wondering, what's next for the series? Now without a doubt the roster has peaked, but there's still just so many questions for the future. Will director Masahiro Sakurai step away from the series? Will Ultimate ever be ported? Or even when could a new Smash game come out? All of the answers to those questions can be answered today. So hey guys, it's PJ from the Switch Stop, and here's what the future of Smash Bros. could look like. Now the future as we know it for the Smash Bros. series is kind of in a weird spot right now. Considering the super high bar that Ultimate set with this amazing roster that Sakurai and the team gave us, it honestly seems nearly impossible to be able to even top that. And regardless of even trying to top it, I don't think this roster could be put together once again. Which is why I think the next move for the Smash series is actually re-releasing Ultimate. And by re-releasing it, I don't mean just a port to a new Nintendo console, I mean doing exactly what Pokemon Sword and Shield did with their DLC. Nintendo put out Pokemon Sword plus Expansion Pass for 90 about a year after Pokemon Sword and Shield originally came out. And honestly, I can see them doing the same thing with Smash, just calling it obviously Super Smash Bros. Ultimate plus Fighter Passes. And they could honestly just be on the same timeline as Pokemon was and just put this out October 2022 for that same price point at $90. I think this has a high chance of happening because we've seen that Nintendo will do anything and everything for the quick buck, so why not? Whether they announce this next October or even 2022, when there's no character speculation going on, Smash Bros unfortunately falls out of the gaming news spectacle a little bit, so re-releasing this would be really beneficial to them. Now moving past Ultimate, there's been a ton of questions about Smash 6 and if director Masahiro Sakurai will even return. Sakurai was very close with late Nintendo president Satoru Iwata and stated in an interview back in 2020 saying, so Super Smash Bros Ultimate released, right? In fact, that was the final mission given to me by Iwata. That game sold that much not just in Japan but overseas as well and became the highest selling title in 2018 in Japan. People all around enjoyed the game and it brought around the best results and I feel thankful for this. And honestly, after reading this, I thought this was kind of over. I thought that Sakurai was going to be leaving the franchise to Bandai Namco and that entire team to lead it. However, in a recent interview with Famitsu, he pretty much shut all of that speculation down, highlighting that, quote, I'm not thinking of a sequel, I'm not thinking of it every time, however, I can't say with certainty that this would be the end of Smash. I currently don't see a path where Smash can be produced without myself, and honestly, we did actually try leaving it to someone else, but it didn't go well. He also states that there hasn't been a sequel confirmed with Nintendo as of now, but honestly, I think we all know that Smash 6 will happen. The Super Smash Bros franchise just sells so well, and the amount of hype produced and just overall fan excitement from character predictions and speculation and all that, it's truly unmatched in all of gaming honestly. So I can't see Nintendo just cutting Smash off right here, especially when it's done so much for them. As well in a recent investors meeting for Nintendo, there was a new console listed that was not a Switch, possibly meaning that we could move past the Switch sooner than we're actually expecting. So I'm sure that Nintendo will want Smash Bros on that console, considering it's literally one of their biggest franchises. Now moving on to the sequel of Super Smash Bros Ultimate, the untitled Smash 6. Now, when could this come out? Honestly, as I stated earlier, I highly doubt that we're going to get a new Smash Bros. release for the Switch, and I don't really think we're going to get a new console for a while. I expect a Switch Pro to be announced in either 2022 or 2023, so would it be that crazy to think that possibly in 2026 Smash 6 could come out? I mean, we're talking five years in advance here, but that also was the same gap between Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But honestly, I'm thinking the latter half of the 2020 is when a new Smash Bros game could come out on Nintendo consoles. It just would look a lot different than obviously what we have now. I don't know if they can replicate this exact same roster and add more newcomers. I think we could see characters get a chance that really missed the cut in Super Smash Bros Ultimate, kind of like Shadow and even Waluigi, and honestly, many more that I could mention for all day, honestly, but there's just not enough time for that. Hopefully in Smash 6, we can see something like the Subspace Emissary. I mean, I really miss those cutscenes in Brawl. They're just so nostalgic to me, and the whole story behind why Sakurai didn't want to include cutscenes in Smash 4 and carried some of that over to Super Smash World Ultimate, with the Spears mode honestly being very underwhelming, I'm hoping for a sort of subspace 2 in Smash 6. I mean, when this game inevitably gets announced, I'll be back to make predictions for character cuts, but until then, I think I'll sit here waiting to hear the next thing from Sakurai. So that's going to be it for the video. Be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what do you guys think is going to be the future of Smash Bros. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. And with that out of the way, this is PJ from the Switch Stop, signing off, peace.